open a web browser, type in Adobe Air SDK and select the first link, download whichever version you need, unzip it and rename it to something like Air 29. Now copy and go to uh, the directory where Adobe Anime CC is installed. Paste it here. Now open coloringapp.fla Go to help Manage Adobe Air SDK Click the plus button Select this folder Press OK and select the, the latest Adobe Air SDK. Now click the wrench on the right to access advanced action script settings. Remove these files. Press OK. Reopen the window again. Now let's re-add them. Okay, we have to do it one by one. Now let's minimize the window and let's open up icons. And now we have to use the largest icon here, 1024 by 1024. We'll use AppUploader.net website and then select App Icon Online. And here you'll have to upload this icon, the largest one. Minimize this and once you have it, you will have to unzip it, open this thing, iOS, and you will need an assets car file. And paste it here. Now let's go back to our project, click here, wrench, and now the plus, sign and select assets.car. Now click OK and let's select this pencil to open our code and now here you will need to provide your Atmo banner ID here uh, your interstitial Atmo ID and this is the place where you need to provide your app ID here you set a, a message that will be shared on so social media and here you will need to provide both publisher name and publisher ID and finally this is the place where you need to provide a link to your menu.php file
Now let's go back to our FLA project. Now let's open application settings again. And we'll have to add this file. You will get it once you register uh, your purchase in our system. So let's press OK, minimize. And this is the file. So let's just drag and drop it here. OK. That's everything that needs to be done. And now let's open application settings again. So here is our name, version, and let's go to the, the deployment. And depending what you want to do, whether you want to distribute your application or test it on a device, you have to select appropriate certificate so let's say we want to distribute the uh, the app send it to the app store so we have our certificate and provision uh, provisioning profile here and we need to select apple app store or device testing if you want to test it before releasing it to the store so let's select this thing and press publish okay okay minimize this thing and here is our coloringapp.ipa file that we can now send to the App Store. Finally, you have to remember to include in your XML descriptive file these uh, lines here. You can find them in the guide that comes with the app. So just copy and paste them in case they get removed and that's all for this short tutorial i hope you found it informative and useful